Hey kids. Guess what time it is? Time to go outside. Let's go, come on. Oh, get my shoes. <laughs> you wanna go outside? I'll three ya. Bailey, Lacey, Fred, let's go. Go outside. And I'm hoping the camera adjusts here. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Fire Wizard 23. We're going out. We're going to take kids outside. Let's go. I really hope this automatically adjusts for light. Let's go, kids. Out. Outside. Let's go. It's my car. Uh, the others are. My sister and my brother in law are gone right now. This is our property. Oh, no, it's everywhere. And I have this horrible glare. I'm actually seeing what's behind me, but. There's the lake and stuff all froze over. There's some people ice fishing out there. Oh, good kids. Oh, and I really need my hat. This is very hard because I'm still holding the camera. Wait, maybe I can, maybe I can do this. I apologize for the picture. I don't want to drop this camera. It's a very nice camera. I do not want to drop this. No. Although then, we could say, why don't you just put your hands, why don't you put your stuff on before you went outside? Well, I didn't think that far about that. All right, there we go. How you doing, guys? Oh, good boy, Fred. What is your fascination with this one spot? There's nothing special here. <laughs> Oops. Hey, come on. Go pee and pie. Hurry up. Okay, so we got a big gnarly little tree right here. The old one. Oh, that over there, see that little, like, plow type thing in the ground? That's that little trow, I don't know what you'd call it. That's where the garden is. You can see those little weeds sticking up over there. That's an old milk house that's on the property. This used to be actually a big farm. It got, uh, uh, the property has changed over the years, but this used to be a big farm. That's a plow my brother-in-law uses. Actually, let me head over to the car here so I can use, uh, the surface to put on my gloves. Don't worry, I'm still here. <laughs> no, kids, Uncle Chuck isn't crazy. He's talking, he's talking to people. He's talking to people who will hear him later. <laughs> you all set? Did you go potty, Bailey? You have to talk to your kids. Make sure they uh, know what they're supposed to do. Hey, everybody. <laughs> nice to see you all again. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a little video outside just so everyone could see just kind of where I live and stuff and the situation. We have this frozen overground right now. You can step on it and it, like cracks under you because <laughs> we had some uh, freezing rain last night and unfortunately that froze everything over uh, my room is beyond those windows uh, here's the garage and here's like the entrance to my to the house right here where are the kids hello hey kids hey oh hey bailey hey 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 come here come here bailey likes to do what he likes to do come on bailey come on Bailey, get back here. Come on. <laughs> we might be outside for a few minutes. I'll meet you back inside. Okay, kids, ready to go inside? All three of you? You all ready? Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> We're all finished up. <laughs> if you'll just give me a moment here, I just got to get my stuff ready. Yes, kids, I see you. <laughs> Get my stuff off here. You're so cute. <laughs> Who wants treats? <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry if my hair is wet. Oh, wait, wait. My hair is messy. Let me show you some. Billy, it's treat time! It's treat time! Hey, Billy, Billy, it's treat time! Happy Saturday morning! Yay, it's treat time! <gasps> treat time! Okay, and they'll get these kind of treats. Yeah, uh, tiny bones. Actually, they really, really like these treats. Give me a sec while I feed them. One each. They know the rules. One for Bailey. One for Daisy. One for Fred. Good kids. Go lay down. You know, you know, you just have to train dogs. Uh, well, let me just show you around. Uh, this is the kitchen. Very small kitchen. My sister doesn't actually like it because there's not enough space in here for her to do what she wants to do. 
But in the entranceway here, there's my sister and brother-in-law's room there. My sister and... Yeah, my sister and my brother-in-law's room and bathroom. Here's the washer and dryer. With Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> bounce. There was a ton of bounce my sister actually got from someone who's going to throw them away. Because they were damaged boxes. You can see kind of the damage on the side of the boxes. So she got these free. These are, I think, four. This is 700... This is 720 boxes of bounce she got for nothing. Because the store was going to toss them. Well, the vendor was going to toss them because he, he wasn't. He did not want to sell them. I think it was like the it was like the head distributor of that it wasn't like the vendor because you couldn't actually take them from the vendor. Uh, here is a big old freezer. This has my working schedule on it. Those are the days of the week I worked Wednesday through Tuesday. Here's this is actually something I do. This is my our recycling. I I kind of convinced my brother-in-law and my sister to take into recycling, so they put any plastic or cardboard products in here, and I take those once a week over to recycling, because I, I believe in recycling. That's just our normal garbage and compost right there. A table, nice and circular. Got one, two, three. Three! Three chairs! Ah, ah, ah. And we've got... Let's see, we got... I need to do the... After we... I have this. I need to do these dishes. <laughs> Cause I, I usually do the dishes when I have a day off, just to save time. Nice the countertops. These are the redone cabinets my brother-in-law did. They actually look really, really nice. It's probably hard to tell, but the staining was redone and everything. It looks really, really nice. There's a window outside, and you can probably barely see it because the glare, the brightness is so high. Here's a fridge. You got food? Ooh, get yeah, Kool-Aid. Nice. Kool-Aid. Now, here's the pantry you saw just briefly. It has the dog's treats and the food, cans, boxes of cereal, that sort of thing. We got the pantry here. My sister, my sister and brother-in-law built this wooden pantry for all my sister. Their canning. Look at all these canning jars. This is what my sister and brother-in-law do after their garden has grown all their vegetables. I don't eat any canned vegetables because I really don't like them. <laughs> I like the processed stuff. I'm sorry. But down here in these corners, we just got extra storage for like additional boxes of cereal that we have. We got these down here because these are like really, really cheap. They're two-dollar boxes of of uh, uh, frosted mini wheats. Here we got recycling cans for redemption. Here's another closet for storage of small appliances. Uh, mac and cheese. This, the shake mac and cheese, which I freaking love. We found it on Amazon, and we had it ordered so I could have it. I love it so much. Uh, more food for the kids. Here's moist and meaty. Here's the living room. Uh, this is my sister's computer. She has an older... Uh, uh, whatever system came after Vista. I can't think of the operating system that came after Vista, but that's what she runs on. Uh, just her computer in the desk. My sis my brother-in-law loves NASCAR. Here's all his cars and his cool lunch pail. My sister's. <laughs> uh, here's the kids. Hi, kids. Oh. Okay. I should introduce the kids one at a time. Uh, this is Bailey. Oh. Say hi for the camera, Bailey. Bailey is a Shih Tzu. Oh, he's nine years old. <laughs> he's the old man of the house. It's been around for a long time, haven't you, buddy? And you're stubborn. You like to do what you want to do, don't you? <laughs> um, and here's Lacey. She's four. Lacey's such a good girl. Yes, she is. Oh, yeah, she is. She's also a Shih Tzu. I love the little teeth showing. I love that. And this is Fred. Fred? <laughs> Fred has a cute little story behind him. A uh, cute. Also, a sad story. Fred was found in the dumpster at my sister's work when a vendor said that he heard something crying in the in the vent, a whimpering. We found him in there. He did not have his tags on him, and he has since been adopted into the family. He's nice and healthy. He's a Brussels Griffon. But this is really sad. He's five, as far as the vet can tell. But he he didn't like that, did you, Fred? Oh, poor baby. He didn't like that. So those are our three little dogs. A little coffee table here. This is where the kids can lay down. My sister's comfy chair, as well as the comfy couch. Uh, here we got the television system. A couple pictures. Uh, here we have a Wii, but I rarely actually use it, which I really feel bad that like I never use it. I actually have a Wii sitting here. Well, I do have a couple games. I should go through the games I have here. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple, got a couple things going on here. But again, very limited. We have four games. We have the Wii Fit Plus. Uh, Bust a Move, Bash, Dragon Quest Swords, and Elibits. I hate Elibits. Elibits is so stupid. I, I don't... 
I don't like how the Wii feels. I don't like the control mechanism of it. It, I, it doesn't feel good. Maybe they've improved that with certain games, but I, I, I generally really don't care for it. Uh, the old grandfather clock, exercise machine, another little cabinet, uh, free red box DVD rentals I have sitting here. This is usually where the coupon organizer is sitting for our personal household shopping, but not right now. Here's my bathroom. Okay, so I'm obligated now to say we're in the bathroom. Okay, I said it. Uh, so this is my bath, pr pretty much primarily my bathroom. Oh, there I am. Hello. Uh, so yeah, here's my mirror. Tray behind it. I know this will make Ben happy to hear this. Uh, here's a lot of toiletries and stuff that I pretty much got for almost nothing. I think I paid like 50 cents or a quarter for like most of these boxes. These were actually freebies in boxes of crust. I use the Crest uh, Sensitive Shield for my teeth. I think I, pay, I paid, I know I paid 90 cents for this from a, from like three dollars. Uh, these Reach flosses were free. These were free little glide ta paste. I paid like a quarter for these two these bandages. Here's my counter. My Act Tooth Care. Underneath the cabinet, the cabinet down here, we have more toiletries. Here's like all razors and stuff that I got for extremely cheap. Here's a bottle of Olay hand lotion I got for nothing. Sorry this is becoming Charles' coupon rant, but this is really what I do. I get free stuff. Oh, this is Ivory Silva. I actually got this free. I want to donate this. Here are, it's tough to see, but there are actually like seven bottle caplets of this speed stick. Or I'm going to donate half of them. Here's shower cleaner I got for very cheap. Here is Charmin that I bought from work, actually, because I had Charmin coupons for dollars off any Charmin packages, and these are Charmin packages. It doesn't matter the size, so I paid very little for those. There's some Passio paper towel. I think I ended up paying like $2 for 12 rolls. Uh, so that was a really good buy. My toilet, and I, you can't probably see it on this, but I really need to clean this bathroom. I'm going to do that, too. Oh, here's more stuff I got. Like, I paid like a dollar for each of these. I paid a dollar for this. Two dollars for each of these These shampoos. These are only like five, six dollars. They actually are like seven dollars right now. On a supposed set, I'm like, bullshit. You don't... Seven dollars is not a fucking sale. Two dollars, not a fucking sale. <laughs> I, I don't know if that, I don't know if that makes me frugal or Jewish. I don't know. <laughs> um, here's a soft soap. I got these for like two dollars a piece. Irish Spring, I paid a buck for. There's Gillette back there. I paid a dollar for that for uh, body washes. I don't, I don't use soap. I use body wash. Oh, there's Colgate. I got those for sets of coupons that were on them. I only end up being donating these, donating these because I use Crest, not uh, Colgate. Here's my shower. Uh, not too bad a bathtub ring, actually. Let's go up a little higher. Uh, here's our shower cleaner that my fam my sister, my brother my brother in law used. They had me use it too. Works pretty wide. I could easily see people using it without it. I, I can't necessarily promote the use of this product because I don't really think it's that useful. Uh, here's the sh my current uh, body wash and shampoo bottle. There's a drain. There's my foot. Awesome. <laughs> here's my big blue towel and my big green towel. Also a big orange towel, I should show that off. Okay, let's go this way to my bedroom. There's my computer right there with Plants vs. Zombies by Nintendo Capri Sun popped up right now because I was just actually just kind of laying down with the kids relaxing. Let's uh, minimize that for a sec. Go to that. Oh, I should explain that, but what I just did there, actually. Wait a minute, let's pause. Yeah, this, um... My sis one of the displays at my sister's work had this turn style thing, and my sister cut it, so now I can actually just physically turn the screen, like I can turn it towards my bed so I can look while lying down on my bed, which is really, really nice if I'm watching movies or something. Or I can just turn it here for use with my chair and my desk. So that's actually really, really nice. Uh, I keep my background black just because I'm usually at my computer a lot, so this way there's not a lot of light coming into my eyes, so it's a little easier on my eyes. Well, we should probably just go around the room in order. Uh, right on the right here is kind of like the where I keep a lot of my some of my important documents. Here's like just binders and stuff. Here's my tax forms and stuff that I have. Here's like where I keep my keys and stuff. So if you know where if you're robbing me, you know where it is. <laughs> uh, keys in my wallet. Here's envelopes. My current my current insurance bill. Uh, bills, bills, bills. In my bed. Uh, with a fleece comforter, I really highly recommend these. These are so comfortable. Uh, a 
blanket. This red blanket was knitted by my sister. She made this for me. She's really good at crocheting, I beg your pardon. She crocheted it. Don't wish to speak out of context. My two pillows. Uh, under the bed. I, I actually did a video of this already, but I, I realized that there's a couple things I neglected. Under my bed, I got these little flat things for storage. Might as well utilize every space you can. Uh, going up, we got posters on the wall. And up here in the corner, uh, I've showed this off on camera before, but I want to show it off now, are quite literally all the books I've ever read. Oh, there's a couple that are missing because I got rid of them because I'm like, you know, it's not a book I'd ever pull down to look at a certain passage or anything because it was cool. But these are pretty much all the books I've read corner to corner on my bedroom ceiling. I love them. Here's DVDs. Over here in the corner, I should explain kind of this mess here. Uh, the ones that are up over here are ones I have read. These are ones I have not. Is a flat. Uh, Book Thief, which is really, really good. You should definitely read that. I've read Siren, I've read. Uh, here's my dragons. Keeping steadfast guard. I love dragons. My calendar. Happy February. Happy Happy Groundhog's Day, actually. It is the second as I record this. So my window, I have that closed, but that just looks out onto the lake. It's it's that same it's the same image you saw outside when I was with the dogs. It's that same view. It's right out onto the lake. It's really pretty during the summertime and the wintertime, I guess. Uh, there's another. There's my dragon mirror. Oh. No. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we got my, that's my printer, a couple of dragon things, a couple of little knickknacks, stuff I got when I graduated, my clock, computer again, my current movies I've been watching, if I watch any at all, last Harry Potter movie, <laughs> uh, here's my controller for playing emulator games, here's my new headphones, there's just a couple other miscellaneous knickknacks on this little shelving unit, my sister actually built this desktop unit. For herself, but since I moved in, this got it just became my sh unit. This entire room actually used to be just full of their junk, and my brother-in-law was actually really surprised at what I've done with the physical space. Oh, Lacey, you want to get up here? Come on, come on, Lacey. I'm I'm just talking to people. It, okay, yep, yeah, you can lay down. Yep, let me just spread the thanks for you. Oh, good girl, good girl. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, I just kind of adopted the physical space. Down here, I got a little more storage. Got a couple of crates here on the ground with this thing that I constantly am trying not to fold down. <laughs> Good weight. But yeah, I got like storage under here for my garbage bags. There's a box under here with all the stuff of the housing authority. Me trying to get housing assistance for my little house. <clears throat> here's uh, here's stuff for the. I'll kind of add this into the. Uh, uh, this is going to kind of be part of the videos as well for my uh, the CS vending company. Here's actually the documentation from the bank of my CS Vending Company account, because there is my trade name registration from the state. I'm very happy and excited about that. I'm just waiting to hear back, get back my ATM debit card and my PIN, so I can begin with that. There's my trash can. There is a wood cutter that my sister has not used for three years, but she swears one day she will actually use it again. And, yeah, it's it's sat here, so I don't really know why it's here. I say sell it. There's Peter Griffin. Yeah. Here's uh, my GameCube games, just the collection of games that I have. Uh, saved receipts that I keep for rebate offers, so I can go back through shopping trips we've done and see if I have a rebate for or something. Oh, this is a collection of CD games in here. Uh, other CD games that I want to play right here. Um, these are ones I picked up, and in inclusion to the ones that I already have, I've got here Arabian Nights. I've never actually even booted that. Uh, uh, Shivers 2, which kind of sucks. Hidden Object Show. I love Hidden Object Games. This game is really fun. My Sims, I've never actually, like, even used this. This is, like, still wrapped. I bought this, like, a year ago. I've never actually even used it. <laughs> uh, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. I do I do want to play this at some point. I would love to play this. But I need someone British if I'm going to play LT in that. Uh, Azada, which I really fell in love with this game online. I would like to play this. And this is for my webcam. My webcam camera. And wow, is it dusty in here. Oh, these are my socks. Uh, there's a really good deal, so I bought a lot of socks. <laughs> Can't have enough socks. I go. I do tend to go through socks quite quickly. Uh, here's just various deals. Uh, these are for the 99 restaurant. Just I buy. I bought four papers this week. This weekend in the current paper cycle and I current uh, coupon cycle, and I got all these for the 99 restaurant. Here's like all these flyers I have that have double coupon, double double coupons on them. 
Uh, just some miscellaneous knickknacks up here. Uh, my bureau. This is like a three thousand dollar bureau that has pretty much all my clothing, with the exception of my shirts, which I hang. Uh, down here in the second, fourth drawer, we have more storage. Just um, I have like fifty card decks. I used to be really obsessed with card decks, and I had like 50, I have like fifty of them. Do you ever want to play cards? I'm game. Yeah, just more storage and stuff, pictures. Uh, here's another blanket my sister crocheted. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's pants, PJs, socks, uh, socks and undies. Uh, here's my dragons, giving steadfast guard as well as a couple of the knickknacks. I thought, okay, when I ordered this, this is a thing I ordered off eBay, this little question block. I thought this was going to be a lot larger. I could actually use it as a coin bank, which I thought would have been so cool, but no, it's this little dinky thing. I thought it was going to be like at least like twice as large as this. So it'd be like a really cool coin block I could actually carry into banks, which I thought would be so awesome. But no. Uh, here's my... What the hell you call this? This is the thing... If someone knows the name of this, I'd appreciate it. It's the thing you sit on your bed so you can, like, lay back on it. I, I don't know what it's called, though. But I like that. Uh, here's my shirts that I hang. Um, this includes also my business shirts that I still have. Laundry. Uh, these are just my general files of bills and stuff. Here's, uh, this is my toolbox. This box right here has just like a hammer, nails, screwdrivers and stuff. That's my brother-in-law's stuff right there. Over here on this side of the closet, you can just barely see it, but do you see the bottles of detergent? I got these for like $2 a piece. And behind those are three bottles of arm and hammer, arm and hammer detergent that I got for like $1.60 a piece. Paid like almost nothing for them. Here's my couponing. More storage. We got my board games up here, though. Regretfully, I don't really have enough people over to really don't really have people over, so I can't really use my board games anymore. But I'll keep them for one day. Uh, here we have these two crates used to be completely full of these boxes of tissues right here that I got for a for twenty cents a piece. We've since gone through them. It took a couple months to get through them. Here's just a couple books I wanted to keep. Here's boxes of uh, Kleenex I got for a quarter, quarter piece, all four of them. Uh, here we've got some of my gaming manuals for Pokemon, uh, some car manuals I need to sell that my brother-in-law, my father-in-law wanted me to sell. No, wait, stepfather, stepfather, stepfather wanted me to sell. Uh, we've got a dictionary that I've had incredibly good use of. I really like this dictionary. We've got, uh, just other miscellaneous games up here. I finally bought a uh, game of Password. I've always wanted to have a Password game. Um, that pretty much does it. Let's uh, have a seat here. <clears throat> so uh, that's my room. So yeah, um, that's my room. I just wanted to do a video so people could see my room because pe some people had actually requested it. They wanted to see what my room looked like from different angles. <coughs> I apologize if I sound congested. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do that little video so people could see. Uh, this is kind of the view right here when I'm just laying in my bed. This is what you see, just the bright light behind the windows. I, I always keep those curtains closed because otherwise it's so... You kind of saw the space around me. There's really not people nearby, but I don't like the fact that people could see. I, I don't like that, so I always keep those curtains closed just for privacy. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. I thought that would be something really kind of interesting. I do have interesting pro some interesting projects coming up on my channel. And a lot more free time to do them now that I don't work at Burger King anymore. It was just ridiculous. It, it had changed so much since I left the first time. I'm so happy that I don't work there anymore. Uh, I actually realize I'm running out of breath. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going to about conclude it for the tour of the house. And so people can kind of get a glimpse into the life of Fire Wizard 23. So I will see you later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.